Diagnostic and Medical Clinic with Infirmary Health. I'm joined by J Dr. Jessica Bothel, who's an endocrinologist. Good morning. Good morning. We're nice excited you. that you're here. It's nice to meet you too. Now, we're talking about something really cool today that's going to help a lot of our friends with type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Yes, so um, we're here to talk about the Eversense Continuous Glucose Monitor. Um, so I'm one of the first endocrinologists in southern Alabama to place uh, this sensor. So traditionally, uh, patients check their blood sugars with a drop of blood with, their, with a finger stick um, to help control their blood sugars. Um, now there's continuous glucose monitors. Um, the newest is the Eversense. It's a sensor that's worn on the outside of the arm to help patients uh, better control their blood sugars. Yeah, now I wanna talk about what this procedure looks like. It's very, very quick, right? Right, so it's a in-office procedure. Um, there, the sensor, it's a tiny sensor. It's placed um, under the skin in the upper outer arm and there is a transmitter that's worn over the skin. So this sensor can be, uh, it stays in the body for 90 days. Um, traditionally, the other sensors are uh, replaced every seven to 14 days. So this one stays in for up to 90 days. Now we've been talking about this all morning and the word that we keep on using is convenience because it is really convenient not only to put it on, but to wear it and have it on too. Yes, that's right. So patients um, report that it's quite comfortable. Um, it definitely improves improves their everyday life. Um, it improves patient safety. Um, they get uh, alerts through their phone um, that they can see. There's also on-body vibratory alerts that the sensor gives to um, notify patients of uh, upcoming ha severe highs or severe low blood sugars. So why would you recommend the Eversense CGM specifically to your patients with type 1 or type 2 diabetes? Okay, so I would say that it's it's quite comfortable for patients, and um, secondly, it needs to be replaced every every 90 days, whereas the other ones need to be replaced every 7 to 14 days. Well, Dr. Bothell, thank you so much for all of that well-needed information. If you have type 1 or type 2 diabetes, you know what to do now. We're popping up a number on your screen right now, so you can give that number a call anytime to schedule your appointment with Dr. Bothell today.